At some point in your leather journey, you're going to want to put your mark on the products that you create. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, leather stamps are expensive. And in this tenable economy, the best advice I ever had was Focus, buy Gary, buy rice, buy beans, buy Gary again. It's an native. Welcome to Pomo Bespoke. Now, I've made a leather embossing stamp like this before, but I made the base out of concrete. Now, concrete is a very strong material, but it's also equally very brittle. Under pressure, concrete tends to crack. And as you can see, over the years, I've had to reinforce the base of this press with resin, silicone mainly. And while it has served me well, I think the time has come for me to make another one out of sea clamp that is much bigger than what I originally had. And I'm not going to use concrete this time. I'm going to use material that is much lighter in weight, but also has better shock absorption properties. And that's wood. So I'm going to show you exactly how I went about constructing the base of my sea clamp leather embossment stamp. As you can see, the plank that I cut previously went underneath and I had to cut channel into another piece of wood much narrower so that it can sit comfortably in that slot as you see. So because the one underneath is so wide, um, there's too much clearance. Even this one with a narrow clearance, I had to wedge a piece of wood just to have it stand upright then I took another piece of wood and cut a channel sideways so that I can fix it in like this and then with some nails I can secure this top one onto that base however before I secure it I have to cut a channel where the metal of the C clamp, the base of the C clamp can actually insert into the into this top plank here. Otherwise, it won't sit flush um, with the rest of the base. Now you can see it is flush, so it's sitting flush, and that's because I cut this channel underneath, so where that part goes in, slots in, basically. So as you can see the base of my leather stamp press is done i'm just going to secure it in place and tack it with some nails so this nail goes in here that one goes in there and this one goes in here With that, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that everything is set nice and dandy. And the good thing about this particular version is that it's so lightweight. And being that the base is made of three stacks of wood, I anticipate that the shock absorption properties of this particular version will be much more than I had in the concrete version. You see that this is quite lightweight. So we'll give it a quick test. Absolutely no reason to give it a test really. I think it will work. But regardless, we've come this far. Let's give it some tests. 
So I basically made a quick wallet. I'll just cut out this, speed up this, and then show you the final results. So ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth, you see that it's standing upright. You can actually squeeze in as much as you want. Wrist was actually aching from too much hand sewing, so I really didn't twist in so much. But as you can see, it came out quite well. So the embossment is being done by a C-clamp leather embossment machine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm feeling sleepy right now. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It does really bring out the embossing on this piece of leather. This is chrome time leather, by the way. And being that this was just a quick rough work, I'm going to use it to store my brass stamps. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I wanted to share with you. If you have any other questions or some things that you want for us to treat on the channel, do shoot us a comment until I see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you. See you on the next video.